Welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. It's my Eurovision 2022 Top 40 Rankings Countdown. Place number three, it's Poland, Ochman with River. Please do click on the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and like, share, and comment below. Now we've had Lithuania at number five, Ukraine at number four, and now Poland at number three. It's a real cluster of Eastern European neighbours uh, that are forming the top far part of my rankings. Now, uh, Ukraine and Lithuania are no stranger to the top of my rankings. They were there in 2021 and they've been high up uh, in other years as well. Um, but it's not somewhere I've had Poland uh, much of late. Um, but as I say, it just takes the right song and the right artist and to make an impression on me. And that is exactly what Ockman's and River have, have done with me. So can he actually help uh, Poland achieve some kind of much uh, elusive success after quite a lot of years of, um, of underachievement, should be said, for what is a big country? Um, to Ockman, it was Christian Ockman, to give him his full name. He's a Polish-American uh, singer and songwriter. He won, as often many uh, Eurovision uh, artists these days, he won a uh, TV uh, singing competition from The Voice of Poland in 2020. And then he went on to win the Polish national final uh, this year with his song River. He was the big favourite going in to the, uh, into the final. It was, it was already a song that was getting a lot of excitement from, uh, from the fans even before the Polish national final. And although he was, very un he was actually unwell for the final, um, he triumphed uh, with over 50% of the vote in the kind of the super final that he reached during, and, uh, and delivered a wonderful live vocal despite, uh, despite being ill. And I think for me, it's really this live vocal combined with a chorus that is both catchy and haunting. Um, There's what kind of has firmed this in my, per <coughs> in my personal top three. He really, really does have uh, an outstanding voice, he can do all sorts of things, his voice he can sing opera as well, uh, and he's never disappointed in any of the pre-parties, he's been, I think, to almost all of them, I certainly saw him in London, um, and he's always had a really kind of breathtaking live vocal, I think it's really always impressed the crowds uh, at all of the, of the different events. Um, now, the lyrics of the song might not be the most perfect, they might not be the most advanced lyrics you will hear in a song, but I think they are both, they are, um, the, the lyrics in the chorus are catchy and they are repetitious, but not repetitious to the point of being too repetitious. Um, it's a fine line to tread in Eurovision because repetition is good, does work well for the, uh, the general punter on the Saturday night or during or the watch of the semi-finals, but uh, too much though, and it's really gonna put people off and certainly we put juries off. Um, some people have commented that he's a very cold singer in terms of there's not an awful lot of emotion put into it and uh, and it's just more, a, it's a masterclass in, in singing, but not really in emoting. But I think I'd have to respectfully uh, disagree on that one. I think there is a lot of feeling in his voice and in this song. He, Himself is an absolute teddy bear of a guy. He um, he's very sweet and self-effacing and and polite and uh, you kind of just have to resist wanting to give a big hug. Um, he, I, I should because my friends and I <coughs> came across him during the London Eurovision party. Uh, and although I have a habit of not having my photo taken with the Eurovision people because I just I, they must have so many people pictures they have to have taken with people at these events uh, and I've always been a bit shy about having my selfie with them but he was there right at the end of the night and me and my friends did go and get a group photo with him and he was just so lovely and polite and just and so happy uh, for us to have a photo with him so um, so yes it's always nice when your Eurovision, uh, Eurovision stars not only are they a favourite song of yours but they turn out to be very nice people as well. Um, now the theory goes that this will do very well with the juries uh, and certainly the kind of the vocal gymnastics he gets to use during the bridge may very well help in securing uh, quite a few jury points. Um, not having jury vote was the big downfall of po for Poland back in 2016 when they had an enormous uh, televote score. Um, that was a huge diaspora-backed public vote. 
um, but they got almost nothing from the juries, and so it was a, it was a huge disparity. Now, I don't think that's going to be the case this year. I think this will get quite a lot of love, if not a lot of love, uh, from the juries. Remains to be seen, though, what level of public support this will get. Can Ockman kind of rally that that Polish diaspora uh, vote? Obviously, I think a lot of, uh, maybe not quite, it's quite such a big diaspora these days, but um, as well as just a general vote, that remains to be seen. I don't, it's difficult to tell at the moment. Um, I think I, I think there still would be an outside bet for a win. I'm not sure it's, it's not, is it quite in contention? It's probably sort of lurking thereabouts, but I think it would need, it would need something, a big jury vote to get this to, uh, um, to get this to win. Um, but I still think this is going to give Poland one of their very best results in years. I'm sure it will get, to, I'm certain it will get to the final. Uh, and I think it's going to give them a really good, good result. And it will be fully deserved as well. And I'm sure Ockman will hopefully will be very proud of his achievement when it comes. So we're almost, we're almost at the, at the end. Just a couple more to go. Do come back and find out who they are.